I, I don't understand. The Dominican Republic? Louis may not agree to a divorce here in the States, but I think I can get one there without his consent. W was researching divorce law part of your wedding prep? Because that should have been your first sign. Elizabeth Taylor got her fourth divorce there. There's some weird loophole in the law where you don't need the groom. Or maybe they just take bribes. Either way, I'll figure it out when I get there. Is this all because of Chuck? I mean, I'm, I can't believe he sent that video in the Gossip Girl. No. And I don't know, maybe. It's just the second that video came out, Louis transformed into a totally different person. So the sooner I can free myself of him, the sooner I can get on with my life. So, you want to go to the Dominican Republic right now? Do you know a better way out of this? You sure about this? <laughs> All right, then, let's get you on the next flight to Santo Domingo. We may have an open seat on a connecting flight through Orlando. Let me just get my supervisor. Thank you. What is the holdup, Humphrey? People are starting to stare. All the direct flights are booked, but she's working on it, unless you prefer three connections. Whatever gets me out of here the fastest, if someone were to recognize me and Louis figured out where I was going, he would try to stop me. Somehow I think that dragging you out of here, kicking and screaming, is exactly the kind of embarrassment they're trying to avoid, right? No, I mean that he would try to stop me from getting a divorce. The Grimaldis have a great deal of international influence. One call to a diplomat in the Dominican Republic, and I can kiss my one shot at freedom goodbye. It is going to be Bieber fever in here in about one minute. I mean, everyone is staring. We're let, they're staring at you because you're wearing a wedding dress. Yeah, right. You have a point. Oh. Hey, hey! Yes, you. You seem to have reasonably good taste. What do you think about treating me this gorgeous, one-of-a-kind Vera Wang for the least offensive thing in your suitcase? Tell me you know who Vera Wang is or keep walking. Wait a minute. Are you her? Are you the princess of Monaco? Oh my god. Are you on your honeymoon? Oh my god. Oh my god, the prince must be here. Where is he? Uh, no, uh, I'm not her. It's true. They just bear an uncanny resemblance to one another in every way. Yeah, we, we are decoys. A, a distraction so that the real world couple doesn't get mobbed by tabloid obsessed losers like yourself. No offense. Now that I get a better look, you're not nearly as pretty as Blair Waldorf. And he's terrible. <laughs> You think I'd be insulted by someone with a Samsonite? Look, I just need to change, so lend me your credit card so I can go shopping while you get my ticket. They do give credit to people from Brooklyn, right? Seriously, you think you stand out less than that? Anything I heart New York is the perfect camouflage. A true New Yorker wouldn't be caught dead in it. She wouldn't give me your ticket without you here, but I got your seat in the next flight. It's like 36E or something like that. Coach? Yeah, which is also the perfect camouflage. It cost me a fortune since it's so last minute. You're welcome. Okay, then. I just need your passport so we can issue the ticket. Oh, my God. Her passport. Once again, Humphrey, I am one step ahead of you. Now, I know it's unorthodox, but this is an emergency and I don't have my passport, so I'm hoping that you will allow me to prove my identity with this. We don't believe her. She's a decoy. She told me so herself. And check out how bad the prince is. Okay, once was enough. Look, I am Blair Waldorf. See? Okay, this is probably not the best way to go unnoticed. Great. Now I need a passport to prove I'm me. If that stupid video had never come out, none of this would have happened. Look, it's Rhoda to bring it to me. Give me your phone. Hey, your battery's about to die. I know. I just had to use a payphone to ask my dad to buy us more time. You told Rufus that goody-goody will squeal the first chance he gets. Oh, you trust Rhoda? I pay her to stay loyal. Rufus is always doing the right thing. I'm sure he's already told my mother, which means everyone will instantly know that she knows because she refuses to get Botox. Her face is an emoticon. Louis won't find out, right? Listen, I, I don't think that you fully comprehend the urgency of my situation. You know what everyone says they did to Charlene Woodstock when she tried to run and she was an Olympian. Look, these people don't mess around. I need to resolve this as quickly and as quietly as possible. You'll be fine. Rufus and Dorota are the only two people who know where we are, and I guarantee they won't tell a soul. Going somewhere? Since Miss Blair gone on honeymoon, I take small trip myself. Mm -hmm. With your employer's Vuitton, I don't think so. I tell you nothing. We'll see about that. You remember when your husband took me on that small trip to Russia? It's payback time. Careful, B. 
Loyalty's only worth so much until there's a bigger price on your head.